In the 1960s, NASA conducted various LSD experiments, one of which involved studying the ability of dolphins to communicate with humans. Scientists believed it could help dolphins provide valuable insights to the United Nations about science, the economy, and world affairs. Instead, this experiment resulted in a romantic relationship between a woman and a dolphin. That woman was Margaret Howe Lavat. She was born in 1942 and had a keen interest in animals since her childhood. Her fascination with animals started when she was gifted a children's book about a cat that could communicate with humans. This book is named Miss Kelly. This passion led her to a dolphin research facility in her early 20s. The facility was situated on the Caribbean island of St. Thomas. In 1964, Levette, who lacked marine and scientific training, would walk into the Dolphin Point Laboratory for a volunteer opportunity. There, she met a neuroscientist named John C. Lilly. Impressed by her attitude and diligence, he welcomed her as a volunteer for the NASA-funded research project to teach dolphins how to speak English. When asked about the dolphins, Margaret Levette said, quote, There were three dolphins, Peter, Pamela, and Sissy. Sissy was the biggest, pushy, loud, she sort of ran the show. Pamela was very shy and fearful and Peter was a young guy. He was sexually coming of age and a bit naughty." End quote. Out of the three bottlenose dolphins in the facility, Lovett selected a male adolescent dolphin named Peter, who had no prior experience in human communication. He would spend almost two years with Lovett during the research project. Lovett's teaching method was ordinary and similar to a mother teaching a child how to speak. She would speak slowly, varying her vocal tone to help Peter with word pronunciation. In addition, she believed that she had to be with Peter 24-7 to nurture and accelerate his ability. The laboratory was partially flooded and converted into a semi-aquatic space for Levette to cohabitate with Peter. To assist Levette, Lily created a sensory deprivation tank above the room where he can attempt to communicate with Lovett and the dolphins telepathically with the use of LSD. For six days a week, Lovett lived with Peter in isolation. Her room was furnished with a makeshift elevated platform bed and a suspended desk hanging over the water. Every seventh day, Peter was taken back to the downstairs sea pool to interact with two female dolphins. Eventually, he began mimicking the sound of the words she was making but there were still some vocal limitations. Regardless of Lovett's refusal to give the dolphins LSD, Lily administered the drug in the hope that it would improve their vocal capabilities. Lily claimed that the dolphins would become 70% more vocal when injected with LSD. According to The Guardian, Frank Drake, an astronomer who studies extraterrestrial life, provided a statement about the dolphin experiments. Quote, we thought it was important to have the dolphins teach us dolphinese, if there is such a thing. End quote. Another difficulty was Peter's sexual urges. As a male adolescent dolphin, Peter would begin to become disruptive from his sexual acts. He would take out his arousal by rubbing against Lovett's hands, knees, and feet. In the beginning, when Peter made his advances, Lovett would send him downstairs with the female dolphins. However, since his arousal was inconsistent, it started to become more disruptive for the experiment. Lovett's solution for Peter, the dolphin, was to relieve him manually herself with her hands. To Lovett, it was not the case, but their bond now became a sexual one. In a journal entry, Margaret Lovett wrote, quote, I started out afraid of Peter's mouth and afraid of Peter's sex. It has taken Peter about two months to teach me and me about two months to learn that I am free to involve myself completely with both." End quote. By the end of the project, there was insufficient funding and inadequate progress in teaching the dolphins English. As a result, the research and lab activities were terminated in late 1966. The dolphins, who had no resources to care for them, were relocated to a small facility in Miami, Florida. 
The tanks in Miami were smaller and the facility had little to no sunlight. Peter worsened in his new home, as he was unable to thrive without Lovett. Since air breathing for dolphins is a voluntary, conscious act, Peter took one last breath and swam to the bottom of his tank. He refused to come back up for air and ended his life. Marine Life Rehabilitator Rick O'Berry explained, quote, Dolphins are not automatic air breathers like we are. Every breath is a conscious effort. If life becomes too unbearable, the dolphins just take a breath and they sink to the bottom. They don't take the next breath." End quote. The Guardian reported that Peter had died from a broken heart. Quote, Margaret could rationalize it, but when she left, could Peter? Here's the love of his life, gone. End quote. Even though the research ended, news of LSD usage and Lovett's relationship with Peter overshadowed the whole research results. In the late 1970s, Hustler magazine, a competitor to Playboy magazine, published a story about Lovett and Peter's relationship titled, Interspecies Sex, Humans and Dolphins. The article sensationalized their relationship and claimed that Lovett had intercourse with Peter, the dolphin. Lovett was uncomfortable with the accusations and thought her activity was innocent. Whatever the case, it reflected poorly on the research and many agree that Lovett should be punished for her inappropriate actions. Today, Margaret Lovett lives on the islands, in the former dolphin lab with her husband and three daughters. Lily continued researching communication links between dolphins and humans in South America. Until his death in 2001, he attempted to communicate with them in various unconventional ways, which included mystical practices such as telepathy and musical tones. After their attempts, no one ever tried to teach dolphins English again. Thank you for watching this YouTube video. I would really appreciate it if you all could like and subscribe. It would really mean a lot. Check out my other two stories here. I have sources in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I would like to thank you for watching.